Welcome to Project Romanos Texturing. I'm Kane Williamson and let's begin with talking about shaders. What is a shader? A shader is a reflection of the properties of a surface. You can see this as the metal of this helmet here which reflects a lot of light and has this metal kind of feeling while a brick wall is more dull and does not reflect that much light. Other materials let light go through and make all kinds of effects with this light. So these are surface properties. These surface properties can be defined by the shader that we're using. A couple of shader properties that are important to know is the how the light falls. We can have per face fall, we can have per pixel fall, and we can have per vertex. We're going to use per pixel because this allows for the nicest kind of uh, shadows in my opinion. Uh, you can have a lot more properties like the reflection and specular. But you can also uh, do height tricks with uh, normal maps and bump maps. Um, we're the persons that are gonna supply the maps for the shader artist to do his work and actually make the material look like what it is. So we're gonna do this through giving him a diffuse map, a specular map and a normal map. You can see here on the top the diffuse map, on the right the normal map, on the left here the specular map. To give you an indication what these maps are here, you can see robots from left to right, these are with diffuse map, the diffuse map is the color of an object, the bump map is kind of a height illusion to give more detail, specular is the amount of reflection it should have. Okay, things to know about maps. Okay, every channel of a map has 256 values. You can have multiple values per map. One type of map is a grayscale map, which holds only one channel. The more common ones, like the diffuse map or the normal map, use an RGB or an RGBA alpha. The alpha can be used for an opacity or transparency map, like a GGA has. This was the first video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.